Welcome to this Windows channel and um, update. 24 hours into um, using Creators Update. Also, some personal observations of what I see, what some people are reporting. Um, so, of course, uh, there are, you know, uh, someone uh, on the channel was pointing out that in uh, forums that he sees that uh, some people see uh, blue screens on their um, computers. Uh, with creators update uh, with the the manual update they did yesterday remember one of the things that I always said is you better wait and let me do the forced updates you know I forced updated uh, this machine I've got two insider machines that are creators update I will force update a fourth one to do the um, the uh, series of videos that I have to do about uh, basically uh, clean installing windows in another machine you know I'm at three machines that are flawless and work perfectly but you know as, as I said you know we, we had the experience of the anniversary update where you know people some people complained and so you know if you wish to to really be as secure as possible you know what you need to do is wait remember that the telemetry, and I was saying that, the telemetry of the Windows operating system, what it is sending out right now, is a, the telemetry is telling, you know, Microsoft, if you're yes or no, okay with the upgrade. That telemetry, you bypass it when you force upgrade and you manually install. You know, maybe your computer was not meant for an upgrade right now, there are a glitch, maybe some glitch that they know about. And you forced to upgrade it anyways, which meant that you've upgraded with maybe a bug. That's why waiting for a Windows update for your turn is much better than doing forced upgrades. So, you know, I'm not taking too much into account forced upgrades and people having problems on that forced upgrades. Now, as for me, 24 hours into using this uh, operating system, uh, look, I got no problems. Uh, works perfectly. Uh, so here, let's uh, you know start doing a few uh, um, a few things in the uh, doing folders and everything. Works great. And I've got no issues at all with that. So uh, uh, I've got no issues anywhere. Been going through the different uh, settings, uh, going through the system itself, installed all sorts of things. And looking into all sorts of uh, new settings, of course, in the um, and because I'll be, you know, the next week will be what what we'll have in these videos is you know clean install. But after the clean install, uh, tons of creator update highlights. I want everybody to see everything that's new, and of course, um, you know, have the possibility to to you know, maximize the usage and um, the ease of use of your operating system. So as my case, no blue screens, no problems. Um, flawless until now, uh, of course, a few things that I haven't done yet. For example, live show later. Um, will it impact or not? Um, I, you know, I wouldn't guess that it should because everything seems to work fine. But you know, slowly we're uh, we're using, and I'm using the different programs and everything, and forcing everything on the the operating system. I'm having a a great time until uh, since yesterday. Uh, I'm glad to have upgraded, and um, you know, one of the things I, I want to to emphasize here is that remember that I did it so you guys could see, but I do not endorse the fact that you do it. Um, I mean. I didn't do that to say, hey, it's all right, so you should do it now. I did this and look, it's all right and it seems fine. But I'm still in the idea that, you know, don't want, you should wait till it gets to your machine. Um, you know, my experience here is the first experience, the first time that I've actually had zero glitch on any upgrades. This, this Toshiba machine always had something every time I upgraded. From I couldn't upgrade and had to upgrade from an image file or something to um, you know upgrading to um, missing something or Wi-Fi not working or you know I had 
all sorts of little glitches that I, as a tech guy, you know, was able to just find another way to install or another way or, or a fix to it. And, and of course, I, it's, it's not a problem for me. It might be a problem for somebody that upgrades or force upgrades and then, you know, gets somewhere where there's something missing. Uh, but it, you know, is a fix very stable and everything is there. I've, I don't miss out on anything. All the programs I use are there working perfectly. Everything I've tried until now is perfect. So uh, that's my experience 24 hours after the upgrade. Um, Creators have been going really well. And um, I've, you know, yet to uh, continue my series of videos. So I uh, hope that you enjoy my look into uh, Creators Update and look forward for the next uh, week into a clean install. There's be a full clean install set of videos. I wanted to do them either yesterday or today. Don't have the time. Uh, yesterday didn't have the time finally. Today, because of the live shows, I don't have enough time for that. Uh, tomorrow there's another live show so I might not have a lot of time unless I concentrate maybe on it uh, but in the coming days you will have the full um, you know a, a full series of videos on how to clean install from creating the media to install to de install itself and of course uh, next week lots and lots of creators update highlight videos as we'll uh, you know be going in through the April 11th um, release of Windows 10 Creators Update in waves to pretty much uh, everybody in the following weeks. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.